everyone, my name is Selena. Today I'm going to review Bedazzled by Ryan Lasala. Uh, this story is about a boy, Raphael or Rafi, who is really passionate about um, cosplay and creating cosplay characters. This year he has entered into a Comic-Con-like convention competition with his friend May, and things do not go as expected when he finds out that his ex-boyfriend Luca is also there with his arrival Anaya to compete in the same controversy competition. And it's very distracting for Rafi to, uh, due to unresolved tensions and issues between Luca and himself. I loved how light and easy this book was. Um, there is humor in the story and a character that is very easy to root for. Um, Rafi puts a lot of pressure on himself to be perfect, which is extremely relatable. And sometimes he takes it too far and pushes his insecurities onto others. Ravi was his own worst enemy in that way. Um, there was no one to hate in this story, which was refreshing, and it was just a bit dramatic and full of natural conflict that the characters are just reacting to. Um, the characters were all very understanding and mature at times. It was actually pretty wonderful. Um, the reader does not know who the characters are, what their story is, so the plot, uh, the plot jumps back and forth between the present in the competition and the past to the beginning of Rafi's and Luca's relationship in Rafi's point of view. This allows the reader to slowly piece together what went wrong in the relationship and why they behave the way they do in the present time. You get to experience some of the nerdy magic that happens at conventions, so pop culture references are made in this book, including Sailor Moon, um, Marvel, Doctor Who, and Star Trek. I myself have been to a few conventions and felt like everything was kind of depicted, uh, depicted accurately. I have not participated in serious cosplay, but was grateful that the process of cosplaying was described. Um, so tips were given about gathering materials, what fabrics to use, sewing techniques, how to use craft glue and bejeweling items. It was very interesting to see these real life experiences incorporated into the story. Um, I know nothing of that world, but it was written in a way that was very easy for me to understand. I felt like I was watching one of those Netflix competition shows where I can criticize everyone's work as if I am an expert. There are themes of self-discovery while having disapproving parents. Um, none of the parents in this book are happy with the lives that their children lead. So Luca and Rafi then feel lots of pressure due to the attitudes of their parents. They feel like they have to perform at their best and also hide things from their parents. Um, the parents don't know who they are and they do not feel comfortable sharing all sides of themselves with their parents or the rest of the world. So it's kind of ha a little sad but happy coming of age story as the characters learn to stand up to their parents and share what is important to them with others. I would recommend Bedazzled to anyone who enjoys conventions, anime, crafting, and LGBTQ plus stories. I would rate this book 4 out of 5 stars. I did read a, a physical copy from the Glendale Library Arts and Culture that you can also check out or find the ebook or audiobook on the Cloud Library app. I hope everyone gives this book a chance and enjoys it just as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back for more book reviews by the Glendale Library staff.